Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the AntConc Clusters tool. Now, another video shows you how to download AntConc and get started with the software, so I'm just going to go straight in and load in the journalism or press subcorpus of the brown corpus, which is a one million word corpus of general English. So I'm going to go to File, Open File, and here is my brown corpus, and I'm going to select a, B, and C, which is the journalism or press subcorpus, and open that again. Then I'm going to select the clusters engrams tool, and then we're ready to start. Now the uh, clusters tool allows you to search for a word or a pattern in a corpus and group or cluster the results together with the words immediately to the left or the right of the search term, and then rank these results by, for example, their frequency. So the tool's useful, for example, to find two or three word patterns around the search term. And it can also be used to summarize the results generated in the concordance tool or the concordance plot tool by showing you the most frequent patterns. So, for example, if I want to search for the word report here, uh, and I hit start. Here are the clusters that it generates. Now these results have been created uh, with the following settings. First we had the default setting of cluster size which was minimum two words to maximum two words which, was, which is why we have these two word clusters. Now we've also set the minimum frequency to one so if the frequency is one or more in the corpus, then it will appear here. We have also have, have the minimum range set at one, which means that if it occurs in one file or more, it will also appear. Now I can change those settings. So for example, if I uh, make the minimum frequency of two and generate the same results, then only the more frequent clusters will appear. Uh, similarly, if I raise the range minimum value to 2, then only those clusters that appear in two files or more will appear here. So we can get uh, an idea of the cluster frequency and a little bit about its uh, range. So let's put the setting back to 1 and look at the results again. So we can see here that the most frequent two-word cluster is report of or report on. Now if I change the search word to for example reported and generate another set of results we see that the clusters are a little bit different and now we have the most frequent cluster being reported in and the second one is reported to. Now if you're interested in seeing how those clusters are used in the corpus, we can just move our cursor onto the, the cluster and you'll see that the cursor changes to a finger pointer and if I click then on the results we get all the hits in the corpus using the concordance tool. And of course we can sort those as always to see those patterns. If I come back and search for report we can also then look at how report on, for example, is being used in the corpus and sort those and we get a slightly different set of results. Now in addition to sorting the results by frequency, which is the default setting, we can uh, sort the results by range. So if I sort the results now, we get the most, the highest range coming at the top and then the lower range ones coming next. We can also sort by uh, word, which means alphabetically, which you can see here. We can also sort by the word end, so we find out which word comes at the end, and which letters come at the end, and we sort by those. And we can also sort by something called uh, probability and this is the transition probability between the first word and the second word and all the other words. 
Now, if I try to generate results with this setting, we will get a warning saying that the clusters cannot be sorted by probability unless the option is specified in the menu preferences. So let's just click OK there and go to the preferences for the cluster tool and set those. Before I talk about the uh, probability setting, you'll notice that at the moment the display options at the top here show rank, frequency, range and cluster and as with other tools we can um, decide to uh, show that column or hide that column depending on what we click. At the moment you can see that the transitional probability between first and other words is not selected so if I select that and apply it we get a new column here called probability. Now let's just resort them by word frequency. Now if I delete the, um, the on word and generate a new set of results for report we can see that the software now tells us the transitional probability between the first word report and the second here of and that is at the, uh, 16 percent or 16.7 percent and the second one report on is 14.3 percent so this tells us how likely it is that the second word will occur after the first word. If they always occur together, then this probability value will become much higher. Let me just show you a couple more of the um, tool preferences that are available for this tool. If we look uh, at the bottom, we have these other options, and one is already activated, which is to treat all data as lowercase. That means when it searches for clusters, it will change all the words to lowercase words before doing any counting. And this is normally what you'd want to do because you don't want to treat uppercase and lowercase separately. But we can deactivate this and create the results and you'll see something a little bit different. Here you'll see now that we now we have the capital report and the lowercase report words being treated differently. And interestingly, now the transitional probability between a capital R report and of is uh, uh, 100%, which means that they always occur together like this. If we click on it, we will see uh, that report and of come together in that one pattern. Now, if we sort these uh, uh, by word and sort, you'll see that uh, the capital case report is being treated uh, in the sort as it would be if it was lowercase. Case is being ignored. But if we go to the tool preferences and go to the final option, which is to treat case in the sort, then when we do sort the uh, words again, then the report capital letter versions will appear at the top and then the other lowercase words will appear later. And this is similar to all the other tools that have this option. The final thing to show you is that we have uh, a clone results button here that we can use to uh, uh, create a clone of the results on the page and then we can uh, do multiple searches and compare the results. And another thing just to note is that the search options, for example, words, case, regex, are identical to the other tools. The advanced search is the same as the other tools, which you should be familiar with now. There is just one other option, which is the n-grams option, and I'll talk about that in another video. So that's the clusters tool. Thank you.